Hello everybody, my name is Dante from Low Manor Gamers, and in this week's Law Watch we're taking a look at Reinhardt Wilhelm, or more commonly referred to as simply Reinhardt. Born in Stuttgart, Germany, long before the start of the Omnic Crisis, Reinhardt dedicated his life to service within the German army. He earned himself multiple decorations due to his action in battle, demonstrating his belief in the knightly code of valour, justice, courage, in everything that he did. It was his outstanding record that led him to being one of the first recruits for the original Overwatch strike team. It was in this team that he first met Gabriel Reyes, Torbjorn Lindholm and John Morrison, and he would go on to work side by side with them in the struggle against the Omnix. It was here Reinhardt's unique ethics and larger than life persona earned him the admiration of his peers and superiors alike. Never afraid to speak his mind, he was Overwatch's most vocal supporter, and when necessary its harshest critic, providing a constant reminder that Overwatch was meant to be a force for good. Time and regulations conspired against Reinhardt, and as he reached his late 50s, he was faced with mandatory retirement from all combat operations, as required by Overwatch rules. Having been forced to retire, Reinhardt feared his place in the world had passed. This period coincided with the increasingly negative rumours and allegations building up against the organisation he had dedicated his life for. He could only sit and watch as it crumbled in disgrace. This culminated with the destruction of the Switzerland-based headquarters, rumoured deaths of its commanders, and ultimate disbandment by the United Nations. Over the years, he had become a good friend and ally of Morrison, and after his former commander's supposed death, Reinhardt volunteered to speak at his memorial service. He devoted everything he was to Overwatch. He was our moral compass, our inspiration, our friend. Though Overwatch was gone, Reinhardt could not sit by and do nothing as the world fell apart. So despite his advancing years, he once again donned his heavy crusader armour and took up his rocket hammer, ready to fight across Europe like a knight of legend, defending the innocent, protecting the weak, and bringing the promise of better days to come. Thanks for watching this episode of Law Watch. Show your support by hitting that like button, and if you want to see more of our content, please hit that subscribe button. If you fancy checking out our top 5 series, you can do that by hitting this big video here. And in the next episode of Law Watch, we'll be taking a look at Torbjorn, so stay tuned for that. I've been Dantir, thanks for watching.